everybody welcome back to cards by the hill my name is Jane Hill so this is going to be a six by six card again and I want to go through this pack here with you when you buy an assorted pack of paper from eBay you get quite an array of different papers in it so I thought I'd just show you what sort of papers you get and some of them are duplicated some of them are not I mean these are absolutely stunning and they're double-sided so there's the other sides there there's a map on that one So, you know, if you don't like one side, you can always use the other. But you can pick them up on there for next to nothing. A pack of papers. And you get, I think it's 12. 6 by 6. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so you get 12 in a pack. So it's just an idea again, you know, save money on your backing paper if you wanted to pick up a little pack like that on there. That's the sort of thing you'll get. Now, I've chosen this one because the idea for this one is going to be a maypole. Because we're in May, what better thing to put on a birthday card than a maypole? So I'm just cutting it down a little fraction. So it fits. And I want pretty scene in the background springtime flowers that sort of thing so this one can go on okay And of course, you can move it about with Nouveau, which is the beauty of it. Okay, there we are. Now, for the maypole, I've got a cocktail stirrer, which you've seen me use before on projects. And I'm just going to cut it down so it fits virtually the whole card. Just with a pair of pliers, like that. Going to keep the top bit because you never know what, what that will come in useful for. And then that's going to go on the front now. It will have to be hot glued. And then I've got this uh, Home for Christmas Violet Studio Christmas Collection Pack, which I think came in a set of something just a different selection of baker's twine you can use ribbon if you want but i think baker's twine will probably work and i'm just going to bring them down like that to the sides and the bottom of the card okay so i'm going to do one in each color so we'll have blue green red gray And they're going to come down from the pole and then on the top here i've got fabric stickers by paper pizzazz and this is the springtime collection and these are fabric stickers they're such a good buy 
I've used them so many different projects and they do spring, summer, autumn, winter, which is really nice. Um, oh, I'm not sure which one to use. Should we just go for spring? Yeah, it works well with the colour of the paper. So we'll have spring at the top there. And then I'm going to put the maypole on. And the strings. And that's the front of the card. Okay, and then inside... I'm going to use the You Make Me Smile All Over My Face Clear Stamps Kid Quotes from Inka Dinka Do. And we've got All You Need In Life Is A Friend Who Has Chocolate. And that was Sophie Deal, aged 11. If you're feeling blue, try painting yourself a different colour. Hannah Cheaton, aged 8. How Many Fingers Are You? Shane O'Donnell, aged 4. Getting Married Means Sharing Your Toys. A child at a wedding. Count your rainbows, not your thunderstorms. Alisa Knights, age 12. You make me smile all over my face. Ian Hobson, aged five. So it's a really nice stamp set. And we're going to have... How many fingers are you? By Shane O'Donnell. Aged four. So I'm going to use the misty. In fear that it might go wrong, as these things do. Use this one before, so let's just hope all goes well. That's not looking too good already. Let's just do a tester. Really didn't absorb the ink there, did it? Let's try again. That looks a bit better. I think it's my glass board is in the way. That's excellent. There we go, so that's our message for inside. So, just got to do the maypole. And the butcher's twine. And also, I'm going to position some Tim Holtz paper dolls around the pole so it looks like they are actually holding the ribbons I'm going to fit two there they might have to be overlapped two on this side Well, actually, it might be too many. But her trouble is, her hand both their hands are on the same side to hold it. We'll see where we go with it. We'll get the maypole on first and then go from there. Tell you what else I'm going to do is put some gems on the spring. 
plaque so it looks more like a plaque okay so fans on in the background if you can hear the whirring i've cut some pieces of butcher's twine uh let's just tell you how long they are so roughly six and a half inches so i've got four colors there now what i want to do is wrap the top of each one around the maypole but as you can see butcher's twine has a habit of unraveling so i may have to make them a bit shorter but i want to try and wrap them around the top just like that so it looks like they're actually attached to the maypole And of course, I'm going to use hot glue. I'll do that before I glue it onto the card. As I say, might have to just cut off some little stray bits. Make it a little bit shorter. They don't all have to be the same size anyway. You can do them whatever lengths you want. You could do two shorter, one longer anything you like as I said you can use ribbon it might be easier for you but you're gonna have to twist the ribbon round obviously um, as it comes down from the maypole okay so there's one Then I'm going to go the opposite way with the next one. So it's a bit fiddly. I recommend a detailed gun if you've got one. That's it. So one going one way, one going the other. And then we've got the red and the silver to do. Or grey, whichever you prefer. So that one's going to go down the pole next here we go so that's the strings down the maypole right so the maypole is going to go on the card and i've cut them longer than i should so let's get the maypole on with hot glue And then I'm going to use some paper dolls from Tim Holtz as the children holding the strings. Now that would have been a really good one, but she's going to take up half the card. So I'm not going to use her. Use this little one here. And of course I can put the string in her hand, which is good. We'll use the green. So I'm going to cut that and then position it in her hand. Like that. And then glue her on. Well, let's glue her on first so I can see where I'm, I need to put her. Uh, I think we might pop her up. 
Okay, so I've got some sticky pads and we'll pop her up and then it'll be easier for the string to go into her hand. String in her hand like that. used quite a lot from this pack already for things uh, I think they're mostly adults looks like it choose that little girl and she hasn't got a hand up but she could work. Got the little dog down there we could use. Put a string in his mouth. Yeah, I mean, there's not an awful lot of projects you can do with them. That's a shame about it. I think, anyway. I've made a a couple of projects with them. Uh, and I wanted the contrast of the black and white with the colour. I'm just having a look through. There's quite a lot of adults in this one. Okay, let's see where we go with it now. Right, so we've got the little boy there who could hold it in his hand. Like that. We've got the little girl there who could hold it in her hand. And then we've got one that could just be loose. Or we could put the dog there. Okay, so he's going on. And of course, if you pop them up, it's easier to get the strings in their hand. As you saw with that one. So it's got to be about that long. And I put a little bit of glue in his hand. Right, let's pop the dog up. Right, and we're going to put the black one just behind him like that. Right, it's this little girl here. Just going to trim off her dress a bit more. So she'll fit down there by her hand and we'll pop her up there and you know don't be afraid to trim off these uh, paper dolls because odds are it won't really notice anyway like that one I just cut her dress down a little bit you wouldn't even know So we finally get the last one on, push her right up to the maypole and then 
she can have it in her hand next to the pole. Down there. As I say, be careful with the butcher's twine because it likes to unravel. But you can use ribbon if you want to twist it round as you put it on the, the card. And there we go. So around the maypole for spring. And that's it done our message inside I think that's all it needs okay so as I'm doing all my videos I want to thank you for your likes thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please do so there's a couple of hundred videos up now there's surely something you'll find you like thank you for taking the time out to watch them and I'll see you on the next one bye